Hi, Golden Empress Collection here. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and join me, Libra. This is your December reading. Let's see what the benevolent energies hold for you in the ethers. Why are they telling you this? Let's see what the protection message is going to be for you. This could be love, this could be career, this could be money. However it resonates, okay? We look at you and we look at your other person. Take a look. The truth. Mm, okay. So you have gone through a very passionate situation. Very passionate situation. Um, it's definitely with a third party and how you are communicating with someone here, Libra. I think your friends and possibly your family members around you know the truth about you. Maybe someone knows that there's an in and out energy. You could be somewhat of a player or you're making fast moves here. Yeah, this is definitely someone who has multiple options available to them. Um, and you're always on the go. You know, you're in your car. Maybe you have a very nice car as well. Like I said, I just saw the Six of Swords. And now we've got the Chariot card here. You are making moves. You're getting ready to make change. I feel like you are having a discussion here about finances as well. For some of you guys, you might be choosing to make a final decision here. Okay. Some of you, you had something that was established. You enjoyed being wherever it was. Um, it could have been a party. It could have been some sort of community where you guys had something established. But I feel it was temporary because one of the things you'll see here is that there are tents behind everybody here. And that means temporary setting, not something that was permanent or meant to be permanent. Okay. Yeah. See, look, now this is permanent structure. So it's time for you to head towards where you really are supposed to be now. Head towards your permanent structure. You might be breaking some hearts. Maybe there's someone that really, really loved you, was showing you some sort of opportunity and they wanted you to stay with them, like be home, be happy and you know, some, some, there's like a commitment here that's being broken. Yeah, because of whatever choice this is, whatever decision is actually coming out here. Um, it's it's going to be maybe a love loss. I see possibly a breakup coming, but it's what you have to do because this is your path. This is your destined energy. Okay? Some of you guys, I feel like this is, you know, just a, a change in environment. Again, like I said, you know that it wasn't meant to be permanent. I just keep feeling that. Okay. You'll, you'll have an opportunity to gather again, though, okay? And at this time, there's also a truth that came out. This is also the changes of wind, okay? And listen here, there's been quite a bit going on just with the weather that has been life-changing, and there were tornadoes, okay? And I see that there's going to be people here who need to come forward and step up and bring this up. Maybe Libra, this is you. This is you bringing balance to a situation. You might be stepping forward and helping somebody. It might just be financially, but there's something that you have available that you are able to take in this, like in the near future here. And you're going to be able to, to sustain possibly these other people here, okay? There have been people here in the past that have helped you in some way, shape, or form. And so now I see you going into your own garden and helping other people. Yeah. And it's it's because you had a vision with these carrots here. Carrots are, to me, when I see carrots, I see eyesight. For some of you guys, maybe you should be watching Friday Night Love Tarot. This past week, we just did a live. And Libra, the carrots will give you another message here. Because there, see, there's a bird here. Okay, it's a blue canary. Um, there's something here about the, the masculine energy um, being of assistance to someone is what I'm feeling. Maybe there's, I, this is community and giving back. Okay, yeah, see. Look, hope, wishes, community, being able to pour into someone's cup, being able to handle more than one situation, providing, giving birth, seeing things from a perspective of beauty here. To me, this is the opportunity to shine, to give the infinity. Very much so. Yeah. Yeah. This eight is very, very important because you have eight stars here and then you have this, the eight of cups. I keep thinking to myself the path of seven and eight, which is 15 and six. It's because someone loves someone here. 
okay this star card energy is someone who was meant this is kind of like that earth angel energy and you do your good deed you do whatever it is and then once that picture is empty that cup that you give that you share with other people creates an abundance of something new you're actually healing yourself at the same time you're creating new streams of opportunity for other people and then by the time you leave you have created a ripple effect that will affect many okay there's no more you know and i just feel like there's an energy of disrespect that doesn't need to be there it's kind of what i feel they don't go there i know that doesn't go there what's this so all of this came out too um I think you see that there needs to be a conversation. I also think that some of you know that someone could try to hurt someone someone else. And so that's why you're stepping in to be um, someone who is helpful here. You see, I heard that's perfect. The way that I just laid that out. They said the abundant energy around you, you're not going to let other people hurt. Because this is you, right? And I told you, this is you and your energy. Now, this is the other person's energy. You are going, there's someone here and you see that they want to try to bring in some sort of, it is a toxic energy, but there's something that they're trying to do and they want you to invest in them. And you see this BS getting ready to come. You're not having it. You're going to walk away from it or you're going to tell this person they need to walk away from it. You are divinely protected and divinely guided to be able to see that this third party is now making moves and you are planning on doing your healing. And there's something else here, though. I feel like you are stepping into your power so that you can protect someone else here. That's what it feels like. You are going to be protecting people and not even realizing that you're protecting them. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Eight of Wands. Yep. Somebody's coming in. This is your other person's energy. Someone is coming in with a, an offer of some sort. And I feel like there's also someone here who's, I don't know, jaded. Very, very jaded. I don't know if they deliberately tried to jade you, my leavers. But whatever it is, there's something that is a burden here. There is something that's that's bringing a spirit of discontent towards all of this. You know, I did a pre-card shuffle for you guys, and I saw a generational curse. I did. It was one of the first things that came out, and I was thinking, wow, how powerful can that be? And I feel like you're starting to see whatever this is. There's a, a communication here. I feel like for some of you guys, you could also be seeing the truth that maybe it's time to release something because you have a lot of wisdom here between the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. It's a Sagittarian energy. And I, I'm feeling, you know, with this December vibration, Spirit is making plans for you to see that if you're burdened, it's because, you know, there's some sort of an offer on the table or maybe you need to be making an offer. This particular person, I don't necessarily see that this person wants to be taken advantage of, okay? Because this could be someone who tries to sabotage. I don't even think this is sabotage energy. I think that this is someone who is just not honest about they about what they what it is that they want to do. I think that the moves that they are making are actually hurting them. They hurt them every day. Yeah, this person really does want to work things out with you, but for some reason, their actions are not that way. And it could be that this particular person, how does this Three of Cups with this other person play out in regards to my Libras here? What does this Three of Cups have to do with this other person? It's Three of Cups and Five of Swords. Yeah, the lovers. Okay, so there's more than one... Uh, relationship here there's more than one choice here okay if this is in regards to your money and your finances this person if this is like your job some of you guys are going to be receiving a very awkward news or an awkward memo okay um, for some of you guys this could be dismissal this was someone who was dismissed or this is current energy I see that someone manipulated a situation and chose not to do that or chose to do that I I know that someone is affected by finances here right now and if you just recently lost your job I'm thinking of that CEO that fired everybody via zoom um, this is a burden for you right now but there's going to be some sort of an assistance that comes through with that I, I see better days coming um, and whoever you know that type of energy where 
uh, the company did the release or whatever. There's something toxic about the way that the release comes. Um, you, it, it's giving you the opportunity to rest from the burdens that you have been carrying, the things that, you know, you were kind of struggling with, but it was time for you to make this change. That's what this is here. There's a third party choice that happens that creates whatever happens for you. And it's divinely guided to release these burdens for you. Okay. Nine of wands. It's not here yet, but it's on its way. Tell me about these four cups here. You're not getting along with whoever this other energy is, and it's because you have other plans. See, I see you doing your healing and making offers to where things don't need to be, you know, so harsh. But this particular person, they just have their mind set on harming, you know, for a particular reason. They, they're heartbroken um, that things have to go the way that they go, but this person has uh, several issues that they need to release as well. If this is someone that you want a relationship with, if their wall is constantly up, you guys are a makeup to break up type of situation here. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Are they choosing love? What is it they're doing? Tell me. Yes. Okay. Okay. This person is a heartbreaker, if that makes sense. Okay. And yes, see, that's what I'm saying. They have other people that they have families with. Okay. Um, for whatever reason, this three of cups, you're going to find out that there's more than one situation here. You're basically going to find out that this person lives in some sort of an ego. Um, if this is in regards to like a, a job, there's a certain precedent that has been set with the department that handles the hiring and the firing with this place. You are going to see or you're going to hear stories. And if that is the story that you, you know, heard, um, it, it's true. It is true. And at some point you need to be very careful because whatever this energy is here, it doesn't have your best interest at heart. Their goal is to make sure that trouble and negativity is put away. They don't want to deal with it. Um, so they have to be compassionate and they might be regretful about their choice because it affects money or, or something along those lines. But that's what they're doing. They're doing it and out of their own best interest here. Okay. Now, and I, and I mean, specifically in regards to love, this particular person, there's a little bit of illusion here. And I know that there's someone else that's, how do I say this? There's someone else that has this person's attention. The reason that you and this person are not together is because they do have someone new. They made a new offer to someone else, okay? Six of Wands, again, with Ego here, and the Eight of Swords. This is not someone who waits around. Um, you know, they've got many options. Libra, this could also be you. I want you to be very careful, though, with this in and out energy. Um... I feel like there's definitely a patient energy here. The two of wands, spirit asking you to wait so that you can see the truth about what it is you truly want. Some of you guys, I told you, it's the work that has been done. You have good fortune, good fame. If you are losing someone or something, if you're losing a job, if you're losing something here in the, the near future, um... I want you to be careful with the things that you say and the moves that you make, okay? Spirit is doing these so doing this so that you can walk away from the negativity. You have to learn to pay attention to the detail, right? It's the way that you did something here has a lot to do with the way that the universe is responding to you. And to get your wish fulfillment here, sometimes it can cause conflict and the universe will use other people to bring that conflict in so that this choice of love can be made. But you can't regret it because it's bringing you in something abundant and blessed here. It's bringing you into a whole new tribe that's been waiting to meet you. If that makes sense. The spirit says pay attention to what you're doing. I do see that. Okay. Yeah. Because right now, the way that things are supposed to be working out, I I don't know. I'm not sure how to explain it to you. All I know is that spirit has your back with this temperance energy here, okay? 
and it's not really for you to see right now how they're going to be making things work. You're trying to be nosy here. You're, you're looking for readings. See? There's a cell phone in there ringing somewhere. <laughs> and that's just kind of like, how do we make this happen? There's definitely an unconditional love here where you have an opportunity to see the truth. You also have a Piscean energy here, Libra, that is very, very deceitful about the things and the plans and the moves that they're making here. Um, tell me, I don't want to know anything else about this moon. I feel like because of this moon energy, though, Spirit is asking you to go within to see the true path and also know that there's three sides to every story. There's this person's and then this person's and the emotional truth that lies around it. But then there's also this dark shadow side down here. Okay. Um, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Tell me more about this temperance and this moon energy, please. Ace of sticks. Yeah. This is the emotional ability to see something true yeah this is also friendship community and then the four of baskets yeah the four of swords i'm telling you there's some sort of break here it's it's a breakup type of energy and if somebody does come back towards you with deception they want you to be loyal to them sexually Okay, because this would be someone who would provide sex. But I see that you are now walking away because you see these new opportunities that are going to be coming in for you. And this person is unhappy. The same way that this person made you unhappy and feel the burdens. You know, you felt like you needed to really find the truth out about the fact that this person was manipulating other people. Had third parties. You know, was choosing someone else over you. Wouldn't do right by you. You have a new blessing. Okay, for some, if, like I said, if this is a job, just wait. Go ahead, do your research, okay? Do your research, but don't fail to take care of yourself and shut down. You can't do that. Get your rest, because this is a time of rest, but spirit is coming in. They're going to show you something, and it's unconditional with this energy. With this energy, It's time for you to blend your family together, okay? Go to your roots. Understand that there is something that is secure, but there's an unknown factor here. That, and I think what it is, is you don't see that you have this soulmate energy around you as well. I told you, there's someone here where this person has another person, Libra. Okay? Or you have another person. However, this resonates for you. This person is coming in to say something to you as well. They are. What is it? Yeah, Queen of Wands. There's something about, yeah, the, the fact that they are doing something. I see a manifestation energy. They're going to create something. I feel like it does cause you these burdens. It does. But I think I also see that you make the moves you want to make because you are who you are. You're a beautifully, divinely destined, guided type of individual here. That's what I see. You're making moves, Libra. Okay. Vimeo extended link is going to be below. We're going to look at this other person's headspace and this choice here. You know, something that they did that they regret because you're now in this single mode over here and listening to what spirit has to say to you about whether or not you need to be loyal that aren't being loyal to you. Okay. Um, this person might be unhappy because you're using your intuition and you're saying, I'm not going to be accepting of these burdens, you know, and you speak your mind. You definitely speak your peace. I see that. So, again, how they're planning on moving towards you, their intentions, how they feel about you, what's their heart space, what's their head space. And then we talk about any further intentions that they have, like, you know, just in spiritual messages. I already see another deck that wants to come out. I love this deck because it really talks about the fates and, you know, what's going to be guided between this angelic um, soulmate lover's energy here. Because it's definitely unconditional. But you have two, you also have two divine feminines here that just popped up with these queens. And we saw another queen of wands over here too. Some of you guys, there's a sister energy around this. Sisters are involved in whatever this manipulation is. I do see that. Okay, loves. Vimeo extended link below. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, please don't forget, Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. Peace and elbow grease.